The Science Behind Pornography Addiction. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let's break it down together. First in this video, I'm going to share with you how pornography consumption impacts your behavior, the way that you act, in ways that you might not link back to porn consumption. Then number two, I'm going to share how porn damages your brain so that you can understand. And then of course, number three, I'm going to give you a brain tip strategy for the day. And this one's going to be very important for you to begin to leave porn behind. Okay, number one, how does porn impact your behavior? Many people struggle with irritability, anger, anxiety, depression, erectile dysfunction, unfortunately, especially when trying to be with a partner, not necessarily while masturbating or using pornography, but when trying to be with another human being. So we know from the science, for, actually I should share too, brain fog, ADHD symptoms. What I was going to say, getting ahead of myself, is that we know from the science that pornography impacts your ability to think, cognition, your ability to feel and to feel calm and relaxed. That's the psychological components to it. Then there's physical side effects in terms of erectile dysfunction, delayed ejaculation. Those two are the most common. There are changes in sexual desire and sexual satisfaction, all proven by scientific studies. So you desire more pornography, desire your partner less, you're less satisfied with being with your partner in the real world, or you may not even want to be with a partner in terms of sexual desire. You wanna be with other people or you wanna be with multiple partners. It changes the way that you think about sex. And this is why. It's because you're using sexual behavior to regulate your mood, which goes back to anxiety and depression, is that you may feel anxious or bored or overwhelmed and you go to porn for relief. But what you don't know, probably, is that when you go to porn, it's actually giving you more anxiety, it's overwhelming your nervous system more, it will shift you into depression, you'll become unmotivated. And I've worked with so many people who tell me, you know, I thought porn was helping me. It probably was at the beginning. And I'm gonna tell you why in just a second because of what it does to your brain. So it took the edge off in the beginning, but then as the cycle continues and you need more frequent, consistent, longer sessions, more intensity in the pornography that you watch, what happens is you are damaging your brain. Now we know from the science that when you consume pornography and masturbate, you are giving your brain intense amounts of mental and physical stimulation. So porn, when you watch it, is a super normal stimulus. It is giving your brain this rush and this flood of dopamine. And you're looking for that dopamine to take the edge off of that overdrive feeling that you have from the day. Or if you use porn in the morning, you're looking for a hit before you go into your day. And what happens is that when you do that, your brain habituates and it needs more and more of it and I'm getting ahead of myself, let me back up for a second. So there is a cycle to pornography addiction. What happens is there's a trigger and you feel anxious or you feel overwhelmed and you, your brain says to you, you know what, let's take the edge off a little bit. And I classify this as the hijacker. The hijacker says to you, you know what, you don't have to feel this way. Let's get rid of these uncomfortable feelings. Let's go watch a little porn and masturbate. So when you watch porn, it's a super normal stimulus. It gives your brain more dopamine than it can get in the world. At the same time, if you masturbate, you're giving yourself more physical stimulation than if you were with a partner. So you are rocking out the reward center in your brain. Unfortunately, when you do that, you're frying the dopamine receptors in the reward center, making it so that the reward center doesn't work as well as it used to. Simultaneously, the reward center is connected to your frontal lobe. Your frontal lobe is the captain of your ship in terms of your brain. And your frontal lobe is able to make all the good decisions for you. It's able to use the braking system in your brain to stop you 
from doing behaviors that you shouldn't be doing at the moment, impulsivity, and get back to work so that you can take smaller steps towards a larger project. Your frontal lobe is for socialization, so it allows you to be able to go meet people and feel comfortable and strong and confident. And when it's not working because it's underactive, because that's what pornography does to it, it damages your frontal lobe, it creates hypofrontality. Your frontal lobe stops working. And then what happens is it's harder to leave porn behind. And at the same time, you're not able to think, you have brain fog, you get ADHD-like symptoms. ADHD is shown to be a hypofrontality pattern in the brain. You're not able to uh, socialize and get out there and you know hang out with people like you used to. Your brain is pulling you back into the screen. It's saying, let's just go there. It feels good there. Everything else is hard. Now, this is the problem. Pornography is not only rescuing you from the hard feelings in the world, it is creating them. Because as the cycle continues and you consume pornography and you get this rush of dopamine, you feel great. You feel numbed out, your anxiety goes down. But after the fact, the dopamine goes lower and the cortisol, the anxiety neurotransmitter hormone, spikes. And now you feel worse than ever. And we know at the core of a pornography cycle is shame and guilt. So as this cycle continues and you hide this from people in your world and you know that you're being sucked into it more, it creates guilt and shame on the inside, which makes it more difficult to overcome. Okay, so that moves us to number three, your brain tip strategy for the day. Your brain tip is when you feel the urge or craving to consume pornography, go do something else to regulate your mood. Porn use has nothing to do with sex. It has everything to do with hyper arousal in the brain. So you need to bring that hyper arousal down. Right now, I encourage you to think of what that other thing is going to, to be, what you're going to do. So think about when you usually consume pornography. For most people, it's between 7 p.m. and 3 a.m. We know that from the science. Usually it's people who need to come down from the day. So there's two strategies you can do. Give yourself breaks within the day so your brain isn't off the charts as much as it would be so that you, can, you don't have as far to come down at the end of the night. And then at the same time, find a healthy way to come down at the end of the night, watching Netflix, um, playing basketball in the yard. I played with my kids yesterday, literally got destroyed. 12, nothing, my son destroyed me, 1v1. I didn't get one basket, literally just disgraceful, but he showed me how to, uh, what did he call it? Post up and explode, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna at least get a point next time. So play some basketball, do something that feels good to your brain to bring you down from the day. And it might be hard if you're sucked into this pornography cycle, but try. That is the best strategy to overcome those urges and cravings. Now I'm here to tell you that it's very difficult for many people to stop watching porn by themselves. They need a formula and that is why I'm here. I've created a formula because someone I care about struggled with pornography addiction. It took me three years to figure this out, but once I figured it out, it only took a couple months for him to be able to become free. And so then I put that formula into a system for you. And if you're interested, go on over to my website, drtrishley.com. Up at the top, there's a tab that says Porn Brain Reboot. It will direct you to the nonprofit organization that I've started. There's programs there of different shapes and sizes so that I can support you on this journey. And when you purchase one of those programs, all of the proceeds go into the nonprofit so that I can prevent this struggle for young men and women because this is a silent tsunami that's about to hit the world and uh, we can make change together for the next generations. Okay, I'm here to help you. So until then, control your brain or it'll control you.